The first point that we will talk about is the definition of value. And obviously this is value in the context of equity valuation. Here are a few terms you need to learn. Intrinsic value. This is the true or real value of an asset or security given a hypothetically complete understanding of the asset's investment characteristics. Why do we say hypothetically complete understanding? We say this because we can never have a complete understanding of an asset's characteristics. Therefore, we can never be 100% sure about the true or the real intrinsic value of an asset. But nevertheless, we can try to collect as much information as possible and come up with a value that would be a perceived value. We are going to denote intrinsic value with the symbol V. The current market price of an asset is given by P. For simplicity, we'll assume that we are talking about a publicly traded stock. So the current market price P is easily observable. In an efficient market, the price in the market will be equal to the value. So this would be a completely efficient market. But all markets are not necessarily efficient and all assets are not necessarily priced efficiently. So there might be some mispricing. That mispricing is equal to the true intrinsic value of an asset minus the market price. Then, as I said, we cannot be 100% sure about V. So what we then talk about is perceived mispricing. This is the difference between the estimated intrinsic value and the market price. So let us denote the estimated intrinsic value as VE. So VE minus P, this is the perceived mispricing. And if we do a little bit of algebra, so we say that this is equal to the same thing plus V minus V. So algebraically we are covered. And then this expression can be divided into two components, V minus P and VE minus V. What is this telling us? This is telling us that the perceived mispricing has two components. One is the actual mispricing, which we cannot be completely sure about. And the other is the difference between the value that we are estimating and the true value. If you are an active investor and you are trying to identify underpriced securities, then for you to be successful in the long run, two things need to happen. The first is that V and P need to be different in the sense that obviously in a completely efficient market, the value will be the same as price. So the assumption is that you are operating in a market that is not efficient. There you can make abnormal returns. So there needs to be a difference between V and P. The other is that this term, the difference between your estimated value and the true intrinsic value should be as low as possible. Ideally, if this is close to zero and the assets are underpriced, which would mean that P is relatively low and the true intrinsic value is relatively high, then you as an active manager will make money. So that is stated like this in the curriculum. For active investing to be successful, your estimates must be different from consensus estimates and must be correct. In this context, consensus estimates would represent the market price because market price is generally based on what the majority is expecting. So that would be consensus estimates. 